Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to turn any movie or any film into animation with AI. AI is getting pretty damn hectic, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. In this one, we're going to turn this Harry Potter scene into animation. Let me show you the original scene, then I'll show you the final copy, and then I'll walk you through it step by step. Here's the original shot. All right, you've probably seen that a hundred times. Let's go back to the beginning. Now we're gonna turn that layer off and I'm gonna show you the revised version, which is the AI style animated. Here we go. It's not going to win any awards. This isn't the greatest animation you've ever seen, but this is AI and this is one click. It is literally one click. So that's why this is so interesting. So let's get started. I'm gonna to go to Google Chrome here and here's what it looks like. So here's an example and you can obviously see where I got the idea from. This is Harry Potter on the left side, the original. This is Harry Potter, the video on the right side. And it's pretty darn cool, I'm not gonna lie. They did a really good job with Hagrid there. Anyways, how do you do it? Well, let's just get going. So I'm gonna to go to my account and I'm going to sign out. So I'm just gonna click on account. I'm gonna sign out. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step over my shoulder. Okay, here we go. So first step, replicate.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Once you're there, click on sign in. You'll notice that you need a GitHub account. Those are free. So you can just sign up at GitHub and you get a free account. Once you click on sign in, you, you'll notice here that I spent a few pennies here, a few bucks messing around, but I've been doing tons of videos. But you actually get your first couple videos are free. So yeah, use that uh, as, as you see fit. Once you're logged in, you want to go to explore. And when you're in Explore, you're going to see a whole bunch of stable diffusion stuff. Most of this stuff is image to image stuff, stuff you've probably seen all over the internet. But if you go down a little bit, you're going to see this one here. It says videos, in particular, models that create and edit videos. Click on that, and then you're going to go to their collection of video styles. And these are all fantastic. And I'll probably end up making videos in all these different styles. But the one we want for this tutorial is down about halfway down the page. And it's this one, it's called Cartoonify Video. Click on that, and very quickly you're gonna see where the idea to do a uh, Harry Potter scene came from because they did one. So here it is, this is the default on the left, and this is the animated version on the right. We want to do something very, very similar. Their goal is Hagrid, and I wanna show you how to do it. So here we go, I'm gonna just scroll down a little bit. I'm gonna go to my Finder. I'm gonna click on Finder, and I'm gonna grab Harry Potter here. And this is like a Harry Potter shot and it's only about 20 seconds or so. I'm gonna drag and drop that in. When I do that, I dropped it in and you'll see that it says in file. That's what we want. This is the shot that we're doing. Okay, and it looks good. So I'm gonna go down a little bit. Now we get to pick our frame rate. This I'm just going to leave as is, although if the shot is like 24 frames per second, you can just go in and type in what you want. What I want to do though, and this is very important, is it defaults to 480 as the horizontal resolution. That's not what we want. I want 19, 20, so I'm overriding that, and that's just standard high definition. Once you've done that, you'll see here that it cost me about seven cents to run. I don't care about the seven cents or 0 0.00005 of a penny per second or something like this, um, because I've used up all my free credits. But like I said, when you first sign up, you will have free credits, so you could probably go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm gonna. Everything else looks pretty good here. I'm gonna hit submit. When you hit submit, it's going to upload the files and then it's going to output them. This takes about three to five minutes, depending on the length of the clip. When it's done, I'm gonna come back, we're gonna put it in Premiere Pro, we're gonna show you how the final steps are to make it pretty, and then we're done. All right, welcome back. So that took a little bit over like seven minutes, I think, but it's a 22 second long clip, and it had to animate every frame pretty much. So there you go, on the right side, you'll see what we're working with here, so I'll just flip through it. And it looks exactly kind of like I thought. So the next step here is once you've done it, just click on this download button here, and presto. We have it, but it doesn't download automatically. You gotta click on these three little dots, and then you gotta click on that download button. Gotta do it twice, I don't know why. There it is, so we've got it. I'm gonna show it in Finder, and here it is. Output Cartoon, it's called. Now let's go into Premiere Pro, and I'm gonna show you how to finish it up in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so we can see what we got here. So what you want to do is, I'm gonna delete all this stuff. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna add in the clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in Output Cartoon, and I'm gonna add in the Harry Potter clip that I originally started with. So here's the original clip that I uploaded. I'm gonna put it into the fine, or part it into the timeline, and then I'm just gonna move it to track two. And one thing you wanna look at, and it's very interesting, is that this one is 22 seconds long. 
But the output cartoon, I'm going to put this on video track one. This one, I'm, actually, let me just hang on. This one is only 17 seconds and 23 frames long. So they are not the same. So when you look at the audio, they do not sync up. And this is very important. So what you want to do now is you actually want to grab this output cartoon. Grab this tool right here. Oops, got to grab it. You want to grab the rate stretch tool. And then you want to click on this and stretch this out to the same length as the original clip. When you do that, then the audio and the visuals are going to match up. Without that, you could have some trouble. So let's go ahead to the beginning. I'll hit play. The audio matches up. So let's go ahead and delete one of them. I'm going to unlink, right click on it, unlink, and then I'm going to delete this one. There we go. So now the audio matches up. Let's look at the visuals. Click, 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 click. They match up as well. Now, the last step I like to go for is I like to, I'll turn the top layer off by clicking that eyeball. I'll click on the layer beneath it, and then I'm going to go to the effects, and then I'm just going to type in the word in the effects panel. I'm going to type in color, and you get a few options, but the one I'm looking for is called color emboss. I'm going to drag and drop color emboss onto the animated clip, which is this one on video track one. And it doesn't do anything out of the box, but when you go ahead and just increase the relief a little bit, you'll see here that it just gives it a little bit more color, a little bit more pop, so to speak. I'll turn it on and off to show you one more time. Off, on, it makes it look a little bit more animated, a little bit more uh, stylized, and that's it. Let's hit play. We've got our animated version. Just go to File, Export, and you're on your way. You've made it. Thanks for watching.